All right, Shalom Akim. I'd like to give all praises and all glory to Yahweh, Basham Yahushai, Basham Rachakudash, double honors to the apostles, and elders of great millstone that rule well, and peace and salutation to the Akim around the world that pushes through to the four corners of the earth. Right? Um, I just wanted to do a short touch on this this picture I did see. And it actually sparked something to admit, you know, to touch a little bit on it. it say the size of your audience doesn't matter they say keep up the good work because eventually we know this good work that we're doing is to actually do those things that are pleasing to the heavenly father you understand which is to go out and teach these things now sometimes you're going to up people who could be not ne never be interested you understand something they might never have a, a, a audience or if you do have an audience it would be a pleasant one sometimes you might be posting videos and you might realize that sometimes you might get one view, sometimes you get no views, you know? Well, this is a part of it. Sometimes other brothers go have more views than you. You know, that's just how it is. But you always have to keep doing those things that are pleasing to the Heavenly Father. Because really and truly, whether you have plenty of views, whether you have no views, whether you have a big audience, whether you have a bad audience, whether you have no audience, you understand, we still had to keep pushing these things because as time go, you're seeing more and more prophecies come into pass. All right. I'm going to go through some scriptures. I want to just jump in my head, so I'll go to that one first. I think they're First Corinthians um, 4 and 9. Right? First Corinthians 4 verse 9. It's if I think that power had set forth us, the apostles, last, as it were appointed to death. <laughs> See, for we are made a spectacle unto the world and to angels and to men. So really and truly, we are a spectacle on this earth. And even though we wouldn't be highly seen or noticed by, you know, the, the people of the world, in the eyes of the Lord, we're still doing what it is we're supposed to do. You understand? Just like when they talk about the parable about the mer about um the talents and you know who um who actually went and traded the talent and so forth. You understand? The Lord will know if you're trading your talent, whether you have a whether you have a big increase or not. The point is you went out and you did that trade. You understand? You actually did those things that you were supposed to do. And that is really the main point. Right, let's see. So this is Ezekiel 37. Ezekiel 37, verse 9. It say, Then said he unto me, He said, Prophesy unto the wind. Prophesy, son of man, and say to the wind, Thus saith the Lord of power, Come from the four winds, O breath, and breed upon these slain, that they may live. Now we know when we actually prophesy these things unto the wind there are some who could be awakened and there are some who wouldn't some day might be a brother who never wake up nobody before you know it might be just help you know but it's like i say you're still doing your job it's not like if it wasn't out there doing the work it just you know it, your crops we just didn't yield as much as other brothers but you're still putting forth that work you understand and that's really how it is being this truth sometimes because not all brothers is actually I just I just talk about with the um just talk about with the office about having the different talents and so forth. You understand not all brothers had the gift of prophesying and these things, but they're still in the field doing the work. You understand? So there's um the Ezekiel thirty three of stuff on thirty one. It's saying they came unto thee as the people cometh and they sit before thee as my people and they hear my words but they will not do them right because we know this ordained to happen israel just hardened and rebellious no matter how much you tell them the correct thing you know they just they just doesn't want to do it because it's not in them 
They say for with their mouth they shall show much love, but their heart, but their heart goeth after their covetousness. And lo, thou art unto them as a very lovely song of one that had a pleasant voice and can play well on an instrument <laughs> for they hear thy words but they do them not and that is really what one of the things that catch my eye about this picture how he was actually piping a tune onto the cat you understand it was like a nice it was like parabolic in a sense it was a nice par it was a nice parabolic image uh, so I could be piping that tune onto them, but that is not time. You see, and when this cometh come to pass, lo, it will come, then they, then shall they know that a prophet had been among them. And there's something that we wait waiting patiently for to happen, because when we warn them now, to change and do all these different things, you know, putting up videos for them to watch and be edified, Going out on the streets and preach and Israel don't have time. You understand? But if they don't have time, you still have a job to do. You still have a job to do. Alright. So the Matthew eleven. I'll start from fifteen, right? It say he that had ears to hear, let him hear. Right? It say, but where but whereunto shall I like in this generation? Right? Say what you know what 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 shall I like where you compare them to? <laughs> you understand? You say um it is like unto children sitting in the markets and calling unto the unto their fellows and saying, We have piped unto you and ye have not danced we have mourned unto you and ye have not lamented back to the same concept that we'll be piping this tune right through but they're not dance they have not danced you understand or any kind of any kind of change but still we still had to push that word so for those who will be you know, pushing despite what, no matter what season, no matter what situation. You understand? Even if your mommy doesn't get any views at all, even though people don't want to see, the Lord does see. And that is the most important thing. You know, I suppose I define in some way. And with that, I'd like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'asham, Yahushai, Ba'asham, Rachakodash, Double Honesty Apostles, and the of Great Millstone at Ruel. And peace and salutation to the Akimra on the world that pushed the shoot to the four corners of the earth. This is your Abba from Eternal Akim saying Shalom, Akim, stay strong.